Hasbro just dropped some major G.I. Joe classified series news today, and I am so happy to see that they are back on track with the line with some vintage inspired drops, so let's check them out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Toy Habits channel and Hasbro surprised me by going back to the roots with the G.I. Joe classified line by revealing some vintage inspired figures that will definitely reinvigorate the line, so let's take a look. First up we have Heavy Artillery Roadblock and he comes with a new head sculpt, a new chest sculpt, and a gaggle of heavy weaponry. The Gatling gun is really amazing and huge and I am excited for this figure as we are finally paying homage to the G.I. Joe vintage line. Next up we have Snake Eyes with Timber and I was literally floored when they revealed this figure. The black on black is stunning and he has some matte finish to him with some glossy paint apps to give him some definition. Timber is absolutely amazing and he is highly articulated which I was not expecting but he looks fantastic. I love that we are seeing this figure in the line and this should have been the original figure that they released to kick the line off right. Next up is the Cobra Island Barbecue, and they did a stunning job on this figure, and they really captured that vintage-inspired look and feel with a mix of classic oranges and some dark orange accents. Also, the black and gray matte color detail really sets this figure off nicely. What I'm most excited about, actually, is the art for this figure, as it was done by the one and only John Gang, who is a truly amazing artist, and if you have not seen his work, check it out at orbitalharvest.com. I love the action shots of barbecue, especially the one showing him with major blood. They did a really fantastic job on this barbecue figure. And yes, we are getting another motorcycle in the line, and this is Breaker with his Ram Cycle. The Ram Cycle looks fantastic and features some nods to the vintage line with the G.I. Joe logos and updated classified series star, plus the MG27 on the side of the bike. We have an old school feel and a mix between a speeder bike and a dirt bike and I love the mix of colors with the classic olive green and there are a mix of finishes on the bike which gives it a lot more definition. As for Breaker himself he comes with a classic headset and a helmet and has some new polarized visor with a polarized coloring effect that they integrated with all of the tech inside his helmet. When I first saw this figure like two seconds ago, I wish that they had added a backpack, but I actually love what they did integrating all the tech into his helmet. He has a lot of pouches in his vest to store his extra gear, and he has the original black straps, which is a nod to the vintage figure, and his face sculpt looks fantastic. Definitely got some great beard game going on. And I love that they made the Gatling gun removable, and he looks amazing holding it. I hope you're as, as excited as I am about these reveals, so please let us know what you think about these figures in the comments below, and check out our other videos on the channel, and if you have not subscribed yet, please do so.